Happy Tuesday, everybody. I wanted to do a video. It's not going to be short, but it's going to be hopefully informative. Um, because crypto is running, so are the scammers. They are coming out of the woodwork. And I want to go over a couple things and, and remind people uh, what to do, what not to do, and explain how you earn uh, T fuel when you stake Theta. And then, you know, it's, it's easy how to set it up, but what kind of return should you expect? Because I think everybody has higher expectations than what is that what should be expected. So the first thing that really kind of brought this to my attention was I had someone send this in and thank goodness that they did, but they had felt that they were not earning any T fuel for their theta staking. And so they went out and reached out to someone and I don't know the whole situation, but Anytime you reach out and say, hi, I need help, if you're on Discord, if you're on Telegram, if really any place, if you say you need help, you will attract every scammer that's on that page to you. Even uh, they will contact you after because the scammer hasn't woken up and they need to look at the board or they need to look at the Telegram channel and they'll contact you and say, well, I'm here to help and I'm a part of the company. And because my color is green or because this name says that it is, um, I don't believe anybody. The first thing to know is when you're on Telegram, on Discord, um, Anybody that says that they're there to help think that they're a scammer because 99.99% of the time they are. So what this person was trying to do was to solve an issue that was actually, I don't believe, an issue. And, you know, they had Adrian V trying to get them to do something so that they would lose every coin that they have. Maybe in, you know, their, not just their Theta wallet, but it could be their Ethereum wallet too. So just be warned, do not believe anybody and check. And thank goodness we have someone that does some great TA, Crypto J, and, and you guys have me to bounce some, you know, questions off of, and we make a really good uh, team. That's why we're the binge team. So why I'm doing this video is to help you understand a couple of those. So we've gone over, don't trust anybody online, um, <laughs> bottom line. So let's move on to the uh, the next thing. I reached out to uh, Jason and he is a part of Theta Communications. And that's, you know, you heard us going through and finding a, a new staking partner for staking T-Fuel and Theta. And so I reached out to uh, Jason after getting this, and I knew just by opening this image, it was a total scam, but I wanted to run some things by him. So I sent it to him this morning. I said, hey, do you have some time to talk? And I sent, you know, this is what's going on. And, you know, his, his comment was, oh, God, that's not an official link at all. I feel bad for that person. So this is one of the reasons why I'm doing the video. What we need to know is what kind of earnings should you expect from staking Theta? Well, let's go through the official page. As you can see, this is from Theta. It's on docs.thetatoken.org, so we know it's good. Scroll all the way, and maybe I'll, I'll include this link in the video uh, down below, but let's go down T Fuel Earnings. Guardian node T-Fuel earnings are awarded every 100 blocks or approximately every 10 minutes in a probabilistic method. At each 100 block checkpoint, there are 200 to 300 stakers randomly selected, weighted by their stake to divide the block rewards. A large staker, example, with a 100,000 theta stake, should expect to receive a reward every 2.5 to 3 hours or so. Not guaranteed, just expectation. A 100,000 staker should have at least a 98% likelihood to receive a reward every 10 hours. Conversely, and this is the one that I'm worried that people that have a small amount of theta staked, the minimum amount is, is 1,000. It used to be 10,000. Now it's 1,000. Conversely, a 1,000 theta staker may only see T-Fuel rewards once per month, analogous to a small Bitcoin miner with low hash rate. For 
the same block though, two stakers with the same stake may not receive the same amount of reward, while all nodes will earn T-Fuel proportional to their stake over time, over time, that's key, it means there can be significant variations in the timing and size of T-Fuel rewards between different users. You got to remember, guys, you the earnings right now, as of today, uh, it's March 11th, 6.45 p.m., it's right around 1.2% return when you're staking theta. T-Fuel is different. Uh, the, the APR has dropped from what it was months ago, and it will probably continue to drop as more theta is um, put onto a Guardian node. So you have to remember, your expectations should be set by this paragraph here. If you have a small amount of theta, then you're going to get a small amount over time. You're going to get approximately 1.2% return but it doesn't mean that you're going to earn something every week or every day for sure. If you have a million theta that you're staking, well, it's a 99.9% .9 chance you're going to get something every day, but it's, it, it's not expected and it's not guaranteed. So I think we need to set the expectations to what is, is true for T fuel earnings when you're staking on a guardian node. The, the other thing that you have to remember is, I know, you know, we all, well, most of us uh, moved to Theta Communications and staked our T-Fuel and our Theta. And the biggest thing that you want to do to earn your uh, T-Fuel from your Guardian node, um, which stakes your Theta, is you want to make sure that the uptime is really good. So if you're staking with someone that has low fees, they may have one um, Guardian node if they have you know, no fees. You, you don't know what their setup is. Theta Communications has, uh, you know, Jason said he has 40 different Guardian nodes that all work as one. They're around the globe. And so when they have to do an upgrade, all other 39 are working. What you don't want to have is any downtime. If you have any downtime, you're going to lose payments. And it's important not to lose those payments because you can never get them back. So we're here at guardianmonitor.io. And let's go look down here. This is the big number right here. What you want to do is you want to see that the uptime is... Uh, as stable as possible. So if you decide to go with someone else, you know, you need to ask what kind of, um, what kind of setup do they have? Do they have one guardian node? Do they have multiple guardian nodes? The, the big thing is to make sure that it is up and stable. So really that's what I wanted to bring uh, to everyone to let you know the scammers are out in full swing. Um, I wanted to set your expectations of how much T fuel you should really be earning. And, you know, it's really only 1.2% APR. Uh, every year, you're going to get 1.2%. So if you have a little bit of theta, you're going to get just a little bit of T fuel earnings. And then to let you know about the, uh, the Guardian nodes, it's really important to keep um, a, a guardian node stable and online. And it doesn't matter where you stake your theta. Any of the guardian nodes kind of, um, it doesn't matter if you're with theta communications, it doesn't matter if you're somewhere else. When those two to 300 stakers are randomly selected, they're selected from all of them. It's not per uh, you know, guardian node, it's all the guardian nodes and you want to make sure that your wallet address is online at that point in time so that you have the option to be selected as one of the two to 300 stakers. So hopefully this was giving you a little bit more information about how the guardian node works and to, to set your expectations going forward. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great evening.